With the 23rd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Christian Derisaw, left tackle out of Virginia Tech. Now, what led to that happening was the Vikings traded back from 14, as expected. And in addition to giving up pick 14, the Vikings gave up pick 143 to the New York Jets for picks 23, 66, and 86. I was hoping that we'd be in on pick 34, the second pick in the second round, but no dice. Now, since that trade happened, the Jets, they took Elijah Vera Tucker at 14. Miami took Jalen Phillips at 18. Indy, they took Quiddy Pay at 21. And I swear to God, if Quiddy Pay was there at 23, the Vikings, they would have took Quiddy Pay. And so at this point, I'm thinking to myself, when he gets to the Vikings, okay, are they going to take Greg Rousseau? Oh, wait, Christian Derrissaw, he's there as well. Vikings went with Christian Derrissaw out of Virginia Tech. On Monday, I did a podcast of best player available candidates for the Vikings at pick 14. Number three on my list was Christian Derrissaw. That was at pick 14 because no way in hell was Christian Derrissaw going to realistically fall past, I don't know, Vegas at pick 17, where they passed on Derrissaw in favor of Alex Leatherwood? My God. It is about time that you folks out there put some respect on us Couch GM's names because no Couch GM out there sat there and said with a straight face, you know what would be a good idea? Alex Leatherwood at 17. It's a perfect match. But to get Christian Derrissaw at pick 23, hey, Rick Spielman, I bring a lot of heat to this man. That's some dope-ass work done by our general manager. And I broke his game down on Monday's video. You can check it out there. I'm not going to regurgitate it here. But as far as the Vikings offensive line is concerned, the tackle spots, you are set. Christian Derrissaw is six foot five. Brian O'Neill, he's six foot seven. On the other hand, the interior of the offensive line, you got some work to do, which brings us to day two. As it stands right now, after the trade in the first round, the Vikings, they have four third round picks and three fourth round picks. You have to get back into the second round. Now, on Wednesday, I did a video on my own Vikings big board by round. Now, with Ezra Cleveland, after drafting Christian Derrissaw, Ezra Cleveland locked into right guard, so there's no need for Wyatt Davis. I'm looking at Javon Holland or Asante Samuel Jr., or quite honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the Vikings went after Aziz Ajilari. But in the third round is Trey Smith, no matter what. And if you can also add Quincy Roche, edge rusher out of Miami, that would be legit. But... You cannot go into next season with Mason Cole as your starting left guard. You need to upgrade that position ASAP. And suddenly, all of a sudden, when you're talking about the Vikings offensive line, three out of five ain't so bad. The only two question marks you'd be left with are Garrett Bradbury at center and Ezra Cleveland at right guard. Hopefully, he doesn't turn out to be a waste of a second round pick. But big day two ahead. Very nice work on day one. Christian Derrissaw, he is going to be a problem. We'll see what happens. This podcast is brought to you by Modest Brewing. Modest Brewing, they are now open seven days a week, including two hours before all Twins home games, located at 505 North 3rd Street in Minneapolis, or you can make your orders online at modestbrewing.com. That's modestbrewing.com. What grade would you give Rick Spielman based on his work on day one, trading back and still being able to get Christian Derisaw. Tweet me your thoughts with the hashtag modest take and uh, one of you will be selected at random to win a $25 gift card to Modest Brewing. Winner will be announced uh, on Twitter, let's say 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next podcast will be, I might be able to do a podcast tomorrow. Worst case, I'll do it on Monday. We'll see you then.